to understand the respiratory system in human being the process of breathing and the main responsible organs for respiration are nasal passage mouth cavity pharynx and larynx or sound box rib cage and a dome shaped diaphragm lungs the right lung is divided into three lobes the upper right middle and the right lower lobe the left lung is smaller and has only two lobes the left upper and the left lower lobe the lungs are connected externally with small tubular bronchi which join and extend into the trachea trachea is also known as throat and windpipe the trachea has incomplete c-shaped rings of cartilage are present in the throat these ensure that the air passage does not collapse system for moving air in and air out let us learn the method of respiration in lungs from the following diagram in human being air is taken into the body through the nostrils the air passing through the nostrils is filtered by fine hairs that line the passage the passage is also lined with mucus the fine hair of nostrils filter the air from dust soil and microorganisms and mucus also traps the dust works with smooth movement of air which helps in this process from here the air passes through the throat and into the lungs rings of cartilage are present in the throat these ensure that the air passage does not collapse as we breathe in air the oxygen particles enter the nostrils and travel downwards through the pharynx and windpipe to at long last arrive at the bronchi from every bronchus oxygen goes into the lungs within the lungs the passage divides into smaller and smaller tubes which finally terminate in balloon like structures which are called alveoli alveoli in singular called as alveolus the alveoli provide a surface where the exchange of gases can take place the walls of the alveoli contain an extensive network of blood vessels the oxygen molecules from the alveolus diffuse into the capillary and then get consumed by the somewhat blue purple red cells this causes oxygenation of the red blood cells and a progress in their shading from pale blue purple to red is noticed the blood moving into the alveolus contains red blood cells in carbon dioxide molecules these particles are delivered into the alveolus the carbon dioxide collects in the alveolar chamber and then from the alveolus it goes through the bronchioles into the bronchus which at last arrives at the windpipe and is inhaled out through the nostrils so the process of breathing in oxygen is called inhalation after the reduction of the muscular diaphragm the lungs get bigger and the air rushes in resulting in the inflation of the alveoli during exhalation the diaphragm moves up and the lungs contract 
Thus the alveoli go down, causing the air to be forced out. This exhaled. Air is rich in carbon dioxide. This process of inhalation and exhalation is known as respiration.